say first of all, uh, appreciative of all the fans that came out. I know we had a lot of people from the Menominee area and that part of the state, specifically uh, those cancer patients that were able to be here today uh, and be recognized. And um, hopefully we've continued to raise awareness and, and uh, help the state of Wisconsin through our efforts. So I really appreciate all the people that have come from Carbone and, and across the state to be with us here today. Um, in terms of the game, I think this game, it's, it's one always fun to play. Having been on the other side at Platteville for so many years, we never had this opportunity, and I know how much it means to, to stout into the WIAC. Um, so for us, it's a, it's a great opportunity to play against a team that, you know, we'll see, we saw the pressure for the whole game. We see a team that's running the motion offense with five men that we typically don't see. Um, so it, it, uh, taught us a lot. I think we learned a lot through the game. I saw different combinations. Guys get better as the game went on um, and understand some things and be able to handle the pressure for 40 minutes and for the most part other than a few here or there. Did a decent job against it, um, but something that as we break down the film will definitely help us and and I, those games always do because it's a team that's preparing for a season and and trying to execute their system as well. And um, you know, So by and large, happy with getting to the line as much as we did. I wanted to get there more. Um, shot selection I thought was better in the second half than what it was in the first. And uh, defensively, we started to figure some things out as, as time went on, but obviously had a few uh, specifically youthful mistakes at different times. So now, as I told the team, it starts counting for real. So the exhibitions are over, and Friday night, here we go. Greg, you mentioned getting to the free throw line a lot. Are you? optimistic that this year's team will be able to cash in more consistently on those opportunities than last year? I, I would assume so. I, I would hope so. I thought we could have been there a lot more. Um, specifically in the first half, I thought we settled for too many quick threes, uh, especially when the floor was spread and they were transitioning out of their pressure. We had chances to, to go back inside and we didn't. Um, the threes we made in the first half, were tip, most of them were inside out other than Kings, I think, up the wing in transition late in the first half, but um, second half I thought we were better. We didn't, we didn't get as eager to pull a quick three. Um, but yeah, we, we do need to get to the free throw line. That's always our better teams have always gotten there a lot. And I think we have multiple guys that can get there. Um, we have a lot of guys that can post and a lot of guys that, that embrace the physical contact that comes with it. Um, so we need, to, we need to do a better job of feeding the post. I think we've gotten better at times. We missed some guys that were open tonight too that I thought we didn't see or were uh, erroneous in how we tried to deliver the ball. Go ahead, Jesse. Greg, Nate Reavers got into the game much earlier today than he did on Wednesday. Um, at this stage of the season, do you anticipate that he'll play? Do you, do you think he'll redshirt? Where, where does that stand? Right? I don't know. I haven't talked to him about it yet. So that'll be a discussion that will happen this week. You said there were obviously some youthful mistakes, but in terms of maturity, uh, King, Davison for freshmen, are they even further along than you could have even expected at this point? I would say so, yeah. Just uh, And those are two guys that had a couple things happen to them that you know, Brad got beat on a back cut that typically won't happen as he, as he follows uh, the plan and everything. But uh, and, and Kobe, too. I think his man got loose a couple times on some screening action that – um, they haven't seen yet, so that's a great teaching tool, and we'll go to it and get to it on Tuesday when we show the film and, and show what should have happened and what did happen and why we had the breakdown we did. So I so said those are great. To be able to play against that type of offense where all five were moving, and I thought we would probably have to play smaller than average just because of the mobility we had to sustain defensively. Um, that Those things are – it tests your defensive principles and your discipline, and for the most part, we were pretty good, but obviously we let we had a few uh, leaks here or there that we'll we'll look at on film. Go ahead, Jim. <clears throat> Greg, it's probably dangerous to make too much of exhibition games and foreign tours and all that, but Kings, uh, Kobe has stacked a couple um, higher scoring games uh, back to back. Do you? I mean, is he? Do you th see him as a type that can maybe give you? Double. I mean, everybody's asking if if anybody can join Ethan as that second, you know, double figure scorer or whatever. Is can Kobe be that guy? You know, I, I never get wound up in who's going to be the scorer as long as our team is scoring. So I, I've thought from watching him in 
Australia, New Zealand, that it could be a very, it could be a variety. I mean, we it could change from game to game. Um, I think that this team has that type of versatility, and I think Kobe's been very opportunistic. He's taken advantage of what the defense has given him. For the most part, he hasn't forced things. Uh, he can score at a variety of levels. He, he can score from behind the line, as you've seen. He can score at the rim. Uh, his mid-range game is pretty good. You haven't seen as much of that. Um, and, and, but physically, too, he, he got a little tired when he was playing the point. Um, he was kind of our third-string quarterback today uh, as we uh, rested Trice. But, um, you know, it just he he's physically, both him and Brad are not your typical <coughs> freshman from a physical standpoint. And, and they've bought in with everything we've talked about. They've worked at it from day one. They want to be good. Uh, they love being at the University of Wisconsin and love playing for the Badgers. So um, and I don't know what's gonna, where it's going to lead for him. I mean, he, he's a really talented player that hasn't even played his first regular season game yet. So we'll see where it goes. Any more questions for Coach? Jim. Jim. Can you provide us with injury updates, the seriousness of either Demetrix or, or Brevin's injuries? Um, I don't have official stuff. Not too serious. I mean, it's um, – so other than that, I don't, I'm not as much about Pritzel as I do. Trice is not serious. He um, got dinged a little bit yesterday in practice, so sounds like he'll be fine. <laughs> 